right guys in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between synchronous machine and dc machine so what are the differences between them and what are the similarities between them let's see first of all in synchronous machine as well as in dc machine we can have a armature winding in both the machines we can have armature winding right in both the machines we have field winding but in transformer and in a induction machine we don't have a field windings and armature windings but in synchronous and dc machine we have a armature winding as well as field winding first of all what is armature winding can you tell me what is armature winding guys yeah tell me armature winding nothing but the winding which produces the emf is called armature winding simply the armature winding will produce the emf okay nice so what is field winding yes can you tell me sir what is field winding the field winding which produces the magnetic field that is called field winding here the thing is that in both the cases we have a armature winding but in dc machine the armature winding must and should be placed in the rotor and the field winding must and should be placed in the stator in our dc machine the armature winding is a rotor and the field winding is a stator if not or if armature winding placed on stator field winding placed on rotor there will be no commutation process so for good commutation if you need a good commutation then must and should you need to place your armature winding on the rotor or simply says that dc machine having rotating armature winding what i said you here rotating armature winding is used in our dc machine coming to synchronous machine in synchronous machine we can use armature winding at stator and the field winding at rotor or we can use armature winding in the rotor and the field winding in the stator any of the combination no problem here we need a commutation that's why armature should be placed on rotor here no need of any commutation right there is no any commutation requirement then we can place my armature winding as my requirement as my like like i can place my armature winding in the stator or rotor but but practically high rating application high rating applications the stationary armature is better than rotating armature or for low rating applications generally we are using rotating armature compared to stationary armature here this is the the first most differences between them so practically dc machine having rotating armature and the synchronous machine having stationary armature sir what are the advantages of stationary armature i will give you in the next video okay okay next next coming to here this is the first difference between these two and then after what is the next difference for example this is a synchronous machine for example this is my synchronous generator where we are giving the mechanical input to the generator mechanical input nothing but speed and torque of course here we have a armature winding of course here we have a field winding the field winding excited by dc supply and when this mechanical input given to the our generator this generator will produce the emf that emf is always ac the emf produced in the armature is always ac of course this is my dc generator even though dc generator the input is a mechanical input which is nothing but speed and torque of course here we have a armature winding which produce the emf that emf also ac of course here we have a field winding as usually the field winding carries the dc supply 
the field winding carries the dc supply armature winding carries the ac supply the field winding and the armature winding that's why these two machines are double excited machines which type of machines are these two these two are the double excited machines coming to transformer only ac supply flowing in primary and secondary coming to induction machine only ac supply flowing in stator and rotor there is no concept of dc but here we have a two types of excitation two types of currents flowing in different windings that's why this is called double excited machines these two okay coming to here here of course this is armature winding this is field winding of course this is armature winding this is field winding i given mechanical input and then after it gives us the electrical output this is also gives us the electrical output because this is our uh, generators right here here the thing is that what is the thing let's see here of course here emf induced in the armature conductors ac and the electrical output also ac simply this ac will come here there is no any controversial but coming to here of course the emf induced in the armature is ac yes are you listening or not okay is it okay it is good for this color is okay okay so so this is ac but the output is dc because this is a dc generator this is a dc generator the dc generator output will be dc the synchronous generator output will be ac here ac here ac both are ac no problem but here ac is the armature emf but the output is dc sir what the matlab is there what the controversy is is there is yeah, simply the ac is converted into dc by commutator here the heart of the dc machine is the commutator if there is no commutator the ac as usually comes to the output which is called our synchronous machine so so synchronous machine nothing but the subtraction of commutator from the dc machine is nothing but the synchronous machine the dc machine nothing but if the commutator is added to the synchronous machine that gives you dc machine the dc machine minus commutator synchronous machine the synchronous machine plus commutator is the dc machine this is the another differences between these two guys these are the majorly two differences okay are you clear now here the the only thing is that we need to discuss what are the advantages of stationary armature we need to discuss this one point i will give you in the next video right so here i discussed the differences between synchronous machine and dc machine